Good morning. This is the Wildcat Shelter. And there's Mike. We stayed in there last night and uh, there was plenty of room in there. It was nice and clean. And there's a picnic table over here, a fire pit, which we didn't use. A bear box way down there and a privy somewhere over there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go today and to the uh, lemon squeezer before we get to our next shelter. So we have about a 14 and a half mile day and uh, we'll see you on the trip. Morning. All right, so we are just doing a lot of little climbs, nothing terrible this morning. Um, but it's, it's been a good day, it's cool. Like I said, we got started, it was about 5.30 and uh, feels really good. To get started this early but our main goal was to beat the rain this afternoon looks like there's gonna be some rain starting at 2 and starting at 4 there's expected to be some thunder showers so uh, thunder and lightning so we are trying to get to the shelter and through everything that looks dangerous when it's wet uh, before that happens so We'll see ya. See you on the trail. Bridge. Well, there it is. Fitzgerald Falls, everyone. Not exactly what I was thinking it was going to be, but it's still pretty. Just kidding. Here it is. What a crossing. Well, we just got done climbing pretty much all morning and there's not really much to see <laughs> except the top of trees. So anyway, all right, maybe I'm the next out there. Just a look at try that again. So this is just a look at Hogback Mountain from over here. All right, we'll see you on the trail. Well, we have been going for four hours. It is 9.30 right now. Um, literally, we have just been climbing straight up rock faces and getting a little bit of a view. And then we have been climbing back down just these steep descents. Um, so it's been a tough day already. I'm completely knackered, but we still have quite a bit to do. So um, yeah, I just wanted to fill you in on what's going on. We're going a little slower than we usually do just because there've been so many climbs today. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll see you on the trail. Great day. Okay. All right, just about to do this water crossing. I was just talking to a gentleman who said that there used to be a bridge here, but it washed away. So, we're just doing the rocks. I did see some of these are a bit wobbly. There we go. Water crossing. Woohoo!
came across this chair. It's just sitting in like what could have been a tent area for somebody. But uh, it kind of looks like trail magic too, because man, I could really sit down right now. We just crossed over Orange Turnpike and we are getting ready to see a view here in point three and climb Arden Mountain in uh, point five. So we're going to climb about 1100 feet and uh, yeah, so it's going to be quite a, a little climb after I'm already knackered, but we got this. I got to say that I'm already completely knackered today, but uh, my left foot is really acting up and my right knee is starting to slap me a little. So I'm probably gonna be taking it really slow and I am probably not gonna miss the rain the way I'm going right now. I've done about eight miles out of the 14 and a half that we had. So st still have six and a half but it looks like they're all climbs today, so I'm probably gonna be wet, <laughs> but that's all right. I will let you know when I have arrived. Have a great day. See you on the trail. All right, guys, we are seeing Buchanan Mountain and the Mombasha High Point. I believe right there, straight across there is the Mombasha High Point and Unless it's that one right there. Actually, I think that one is because Mumbasha Road was down below right there. Um, all right. So, that is our view for right now. Uh, we are going to keep climbing Arden Mountain. And we've got about, we've only got about 300 feet left to go. So, not too bad. Yeah, we're just going to get this done. Arden Mountain, that's all you got for me today? I got that. All right, I have arrived. I am at Arden Mountain at the top and there is not a view, but in about 0.3 miles, I'm gonna drop down a little bit and apparently there's some uh, views off a rocky edge. So, all right, we'll see you there. So here's our view, it's pretty blocked by the trees maybe when they wrote this uh, there weren't any leaves on the trees because there definitely is not a great view um, it's, it's pretty you see the sky and you see some of the ridges but um, they said we're supposed to see a view of Harriman State Park I don't see that unless it's just um, way up there um, but there's nothing really distinguishing it from anything else up there so Anyway, that's our view. We've got another view, it looks like, coming up in about another mile. So hopefully it'll be a really good one. Right. So I just ran into Mike and AT Positive. Uh, they said that they decided to go southbound today because there is a rock scramble that's coming up here pretty quick and they wanted to go up it because it looked pretty steep on the map and they said it actually was hand over hand rock scramble up. So, uh, Sounds like uh, I've got an interesting down coming up pretty soon, but uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. All right, here's my view. And here is my descent. I don't know if you could see that, but that looks pretty gnarly. All right, but we got this. Yeah, so made it down that first part. It was okay. It was not easy by any means, but it wasn't scary to me. Um, 
this is what I have coming next. Um, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, all the way down. But I gotta get there. And so there's one of two ways and I think I'll take the way that doesn't hurt me. <laughs> all right, see you down there. All right, made it down. Now, not so bad. It's kind of steep, but it's a nice path. Woohoo, I made it. All right, we got this. We just keep doing it one step at a time. All right, see you out here. Well, that was short-lived goodness, but it was sure relaxing while we had it. Now we've got this other rock scramble uh, down some more. All right, we got this. All right, I'm gonna try and get this on video again, see if we can do it. I don't know how the other video turned out yet because I haven't had a chance to edit it, but we're gonna see if you can see this climb down. It's kind of crazy. Um, the last little bed, I was on my bum and using my hands and had my sticks kind of off to the side. But this part, it looks like I might be able to just walk down it, but you know, some bits it's going to require. Well. Woohoo! Done. All right. Let me just show you what we just did. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Yeah, um, I don't think you can really tell, but all those rocks, we were on top of them and it was just a scramble coming down. We came down this way and it started getting better. And now there's just a few little rocks in the path so far. So, uh, and you can hear we're just about to the road. So, ah, what a blessing. All right, see you on the trail. We're here today with Fred, who had some awesome trail magic for us. He brought some Gatorade, and he had brownies, and some banana bread, and applesauce. Uh, do you have any words of advice for us or anything? Nope, stay lucky, stay healthy. <laughs> So we just climbed something going to Island Pond. Doesn't give us a name or anything, but whew, what it was like to take the breath of us. So anyway, we got a little bit more, but it didn't fully uh, ruin us today. And we have about a mile till the lemon squeeze. Woohoo! So, I was thinking about this. These guys walked by us and they smelled like sausage. And now that's all I can think about. And I was thinking we should have a warning sign for hikers. And that is, if you come by us smelling like food, be aware that we could have aggressive behavior and attack. It like sausage right here too. Mm -hmm. Coming up to the lemon squeezer. I see. All right, Mike is getting ready to go through the lemon squeezer. How do you feel, Mike? Oh, just nervous as all get out. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mike going through the lemon squeezer. All right, I saw somebody do it where they put their arms up. Are you gonna get stuck that way? <laughs> Should we take each other's bags? Mm. 
He's got this. Look at him go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Mike is barely making it through this. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> All right, he did it. Woohoo! Come the wrong way. She got the right way through this section of it, it looks like. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, now, I think I'm gonna have to take my pack off. Oh no, you can make it. You think? Yeah, a lot sooner than I am, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Put your arms up. <laughs> she made it. All right, here's Mike coming back through. <laughs> How is it without the pack? Uh, it's just not the same. <laughs> I think that is leaning on the pack. Nice. <laughs> Ta da! That was a bad spot. Ta da! Woo! <laughs> There's a beautiful red bird. We have about 1.7 left to the shelter. Looks like it's right on a road, so it's gonna be weird. But uh, yeah, we're nearly done. This has been a tough day, but we did it. Good evening, we are here at Fingerboard Shelter. It is pretty nice, it's made out of stone. And I'm just gonna show you, it's all laid out on rock like this. Nice little um, roof on there, nice solid roof. And then there's more rock up here. And they even made a table out of the rocks. So we cooked on that and then because of the aggressive bear activities that they've been having here um, up here, they have the bear cables and those are really cool to use. They're really easy and I love them. But we are here for the night after a very rough day and uh, we're super shattered. So it's probably gonna be an early night. We have an early morning and it looks like another really tough day tomorrow. Um, and then we'll be in Fort Montgomery, New York. So we're gonna take a zero. All right, we'll see you on the train. So we are leaving the hostel, coming down this path. It's supposed to be really rainy and really rocky. So um, this is probably all you can get. All right, see you on the So we are just leaving Fingerboard Shelter. I showed you that in the last one. It's about 6.30 and we've got about a 14 and a half mile day today. It is gonna be treacherous. Yesterday was climbing rock face and it was hand over foot and everything uh, going up to the lemon squeezer and even after. Um, today is gonna be quite a few ups and downs uh, of the same thing. Um, 
We are a little concerned because it is supposed to rain today, so we're not sure what's going to happen with that. The logs get really slippery with the rain, so uh, there's definitely not going to be a lot of filming, uh, but we will see you on the trip. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some views of New York. See if I can get some filming whilst I am walking up this hill. It's really, it's a lot of climbing today. Um, this is a little bit better than what we've been doing, but it'll give you some perspective. Hopefully if the video turns out, Just uphill, uphill, up rocks. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The rest of this, it goes up there, but I'm not going to continue to film. I'll get you from the overlook. All right, see you on the trail. There's Kathy peeking out of her door. All right, so we've had a couple of difficult days, but we have arrived at the Bear Mountain Bridge Motel here in Fort Montgomery. And we are gonna end up staying here for a couple days so that we can uh, relax and rest our bodies. So here it is.